Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey guys, welcome back to another beer review. Uh, realized today it's been about a week since we've uploaded a beer review. And uh, it's making me realize that I might not be cut out for this. <laughs> I'm just terrible at like keeping content coming on a regular basis. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, it's Wednesday and I decided, you know what, we're going to do a beer review. Because I've been wanting to drink this. I've had it for a little bit. Uh, it is another Treehouse beer, surprise, surprise. Which is probably going to upset people. And it's also going to upset people that not only is it a Treehouse beer that's not available on the West Coast. It was one of their small batch beers that they did. Uh, but this is, I don't know if this is going to focus, Cadence. Um, 5.2% American Pale Ale, which is right in my wheelhouse, uh, brewed with Amarillo, Simcoe, Centennial, and Chinook. So um, I think this is kind of kind of be like a West Coast style Pale Ale with those with that those hops with that combination. Um, but I'm not sure. But yeah, they um, this was bottled on March 25th. They did they do these little one-off small batch beers, um, and somebody is someone there is a cyclist. I'm convinced. I don't know who it is, but. I am convinced that somebody's a cyclist. Um, this is Cadence. Uh, we did we reviewed Mayo June, which was Yellow Jersey, um, and I think they do other beers that are like it's it's just it reminds me of cycling. It's cycling related. So if anyone's a cyclist, shout out to them Schwinn bikes though. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this one. Um, not much to say about it. I don't know anything about this. Um, I did not look up reviews on Untapped. I, I mean, I don't know. I haven't really heard much about this. I haven't seen any reviews on it. Um, I don't know if anyone else uh, that I watch picked this up, but um, yeah, let's get to it. This is f like all the way full. There's not was not a huge pop on that, but hopefully the carbonation will be okay. Yeah, it will be. But yeah, 5.2%. Went a little aggressive with that pour. Got quite the amount of frothy head um yeah 5.2 percent wow i can smell that already pale ale i mean this is a perfect perfect beer um you can drink it you don't have to worry about getting hammered um you don't have to worry about anything crazy like that so yes let's go and check this out so um this actually pours i mean it is hazy um i can see like the shadow of my finger through that but um it's almost to like i don't know it almost looks like a west coast style ipa like it's not crazy like turbid um, it looks amazing in the glass though. There's plenty of carbonation. There is about a finger still of head. Um, like I said, I didn't mean to go like aggressive with that. It just was super, super full, but there's probably like a finger and a half of bright white, just super pillowy, tight, tight white bubbles. Um, it looks absolutely amazing in the glass. So um, like I said, with that hop combination, I'm assuming this is gonna be like a West Coast style kind of grapefruity, juicy thing, I'm hoping. So let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. Yeah, it's very citrus peel forward, um, if that makes sense. Orange peel, grapefruit peel, lemon peel. Um, lots of grapefruit in this one. Grapefruit, there's like dankness, there's earthiness. There's that piney kind of grassy thing. But there's also like, it's almost like a melon kind of thing underneath all of that citrus. I don't know if it's like... I don't know if it's like cantaloupe or honeydew or something. It's melony. I know that probably sounds weird, but it's like a melon, kind of a juicy melon, like nose. But yeah, it is. It's just, it's it's citrus. It's citrus for days. It's, like I said, oranges, tangerines, grapefruit, very pithy smelling. Um, dank, piney, resinous, earthy. It smells like a West Coast, uh, a, a West Coast style beer. I love that. This smells great. Especially 5.2%. This is very explosive as far as, far as the, the nose goes. Like I said, we're at you know three weeks on this, so it has held up perfectly in the growler for three weeks. So yeah, let's go and dig in, Leo. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Oh, that is so good. This is like what I want a West Coast pale ale to be. That is, it is like just right away. It's earthy. It's dank. It's resinous. Um, but it's not like crazy, like scrape your tongue bitter. It's very soft tasting. Uh, but the grapefruit and the orange is just on point for this. This is fucking awesome. Um, the mouthfeel of this is awesome too. It's like that soft, like creamy mouthfeel. I don't know how they do that. 
if it's the yeast or what it is. I talk about treehouse mouthfeel all the time. But 5.2%, this beer is an absolute crusher. I feel like I could just take the swing top off of that growler and just drink it from the growler and just chug it. Um, it's crazy good. Really, really good. As far as like, it's a pale ale. It's insane like how flavorful these beers are. And it's so different too with those hops. It just, it's, it's that, it's cool. It's like a West Coast um, version of a, you know, or sorry, an East Coast version of a West Coast pale ale. The grapefruit, the orange, the tangerine, um, like that lemon peel, lemon zest, the bitterness, it just kind of hits your tongue, um, just sits on it for a second, and then it just finishes. It, it is, there's something that's like melony in there. And I'm not sure if it's like the, I don't know if it's the Amarillo doing that, I'm not sure what it is, but I, I like this a lot. This is crazy, I mean, it's so easy drinking for, I mean, it's five, it's a 5% beer. You should be able just to crush these, and you can. But it does, it has that, that signature just like, I mean, it's not the creamy like green, you know, Julius mouthfeel, but it's just, it's a medium plus mouthfeel, for, especially for a 5% beer. So insanely drinkable, absolutely awesome. Um, kind of a bummer that this is a small batch kind of one-off thing. It would, I think people would love this if they canned it. Um, don't know if it's quite to like the lights on tornado um, level, but something completely different from them for me. It's it's funny, this beer and then, um, Mayo June was like another, just like a West Coast kind of really dank, awesome, resinous, earthy, like that old school grapefruit, you know, kind of orangey thing. So I love this. Uh, really, really good. As far as the grade, I'm going to go like 94 on this. Awesome, awesome stuff. I really, I do. I wish this was more, um, I wish this was more available. Maybe they'll brew it more. Maybe, maybe they'll start canning. I don't know what they're going to do once they expand and have like the, the bigger place if they're gonna start like, like these smaller batches if they're just gonna start brewing them all the time and canning them I, I do I think people would love this as far as like a summer beer goes or a spring beer this is amazing I mean baseball right now you could sit with like a six-pack of this during a baseball game and just absolutely crush them and you'd be stoked so um, yeah not much else to say amazing stuff from tree house shocking I know surprise 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 so yeah, that was Cadence. If you guys have had it, or if you had, you know, if you if you've had prior batches, or if you got to try this batch, let me know what you think. Um, sorry for reviewing the kind of one-off beers that aren't really available unless you could go to the brewery and get them. I just, it's Treehouse, man. I I believe that every Treehouse beer that I get is absolutely deserving of a review. So now there's one up on YouTube, and you know, maybe the next batch someone will look up a review and say, hey, that sounds good. I'll have that. So uh, it would be awesome if you guys did that. So. Uh, yeah, I'm rambling now. I'm out of here. I'm going to go enjoy this. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I appreciate all of you guys that do. And uh, I will see you real soon. We won't go a week again in between uploads. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here, guys. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.